are live. I'll wait for some people to come in the chat before I really start going into things. Let me turn the AC on. Hopefully that. Hopefully that. It's not too noisy. We already got one people person in here. Let's see who the first commenter is. I'll probably go live for about 12 minutes. J Monster, very questionable. Predator says, come on, bro. BB says, what's up, man? Noah, what is up? Ryan, what's up? Josh, yes, this is happening. My Chevy truck says, what's up? Uh, Mitch, you can carry this team, I believe. Hi. Duval says, trap busy. Ben Kell is sad. Uh, Joey is absolutely fed up with the Jaguars at the moment. Jags for life, what is up, man? I know, I know, man. David Bryan, what's up, man? Washington State. Jags fan, what is up? Oh my gosh, guys. This is just an unbelievable, really just two days, man. And we traded away both Yannick Ngakwe, or we got rid of Yannick Ngakwe and Leonard Fournette in a span of like two days. It's it's crazy how quickly this team is turning over. And I mean, you look back at the 2017 Jaguars, you know, like Jags for Life is talking about. The only players that are left are Miles Jack and Avery Jones, really. I mean, besides like Lambo and guys like that. But it is just, it's absolutely crazy. And, you know, it's really, we got we to gotta look at, like, Shad Khan really has to, like, look at himself and say, what what direction is this team going? Because a lot of a lot of blame has to go on Shad Khan. I mean, I know he's not a business, I know he's not a football guy. He really knows nothing about football, but... What does he want this team to be, man? I mean, he does not know how to hire guys. He doesn't know when to fire guys. I mean, I know you look at Dave Caldwell and his drafts aren't all that aren't super bad or anything, but it's just the fact that he can't retain players. He can't retain Al Robinson. He can't he couldn't retain Jalen Ramsey. He like, you know, of course Nick Ngakwe is out. Fournette, who you spent the number four overall pick on, is out. And Doug Brown's gonna come out here and be like, oh, we just felt this was right for the team. Like, who who made this call? Was it Shad Khan that said, look, you know, we got to make sure we hit, you know, of course, all these teams are going to take a big hit this year when it comes to profits under under the pandemic. The Jaguars will have a 25% capacity. But is it a situation where, hey, we don't want to spend $4 million on Fournette. We can get rid of Fournette and save $4 million and help, and help out our you know, the bottom line, help out our profit. Was that was that what the Jaguars were doing? Was that what Dave Caldwell was thinking? Or like, you know, Shad Khan was thinking, and then, you know, Maroon comes out there saying, oh, you know, this is just best for our team. This guy fits our, doesn't fit the way our offense wants to be. It's like, come on, man. Like, 1,600 yards where you just let walk. And why do it now? Like, why are we doing it right now? Like, we there's limited practice reps going on, so Leonard Fournette's been taking all the number one reps. Those are reps that you could have given to Azigbo, Reichel Armstead, and I don't I don't even know like I've I've I don't know anything about Azigbo or Reichel Armstead. I, I guess I know a little bit of about Reichel Armstead. I mean, he went to Temple. I watched a lot of his football games. I know that he took a lot of a lot of uh, snaps out of the shotgun, which you know we'll see how the Jaguars run things, but um. I don't know. It's we haven't seen really much from him in the NFL. We've seen very little of him, but I don't know. Like Jack for Life says, here. Do you think where do you think Fournette will go? Um, I saw David is talking about how Steelers and Patriots are looking into him. Can you imagine where uh, if the Patriots end up with Cam Newton and uh, Leonard Fournette all of a sudden? Uh, I mean Fournette. I mean I think that's probably the best the best place to go. Uh, David says, I say we should get Dalvin Cook. Yeah, I mean, it's, and Jaguars, it, it's really, really hard right now because we should all be so excited for the start of the NFL season. And I always say to myself, like, oh, why am I not more excited about the Jaguars right now? Why, like, or why am I not more excited about the NFL season? I feel like one is because, you know, the pandemic, I'm a little bit worried that I might get canceled. Of course, now there's not very many cases, so that's all good. But another thing is, like, the Jaguars aren't going to be very good. And with moves, moves like this, you know, we're definitely not going to be good. And what's what's the ceiling right now? 6-10, and 7-9? That's nothing to be excited about. So we really have to just, 
you know, I almost wish that we could just fast forward this season, you know, start off next year fresh saying, okay, we had number one pick. We can go get Trevor Lawrence. We got all these draft picks, two first round picks, two second round picks, a third round pick. I think we got two fourth round picks. You know, we have all these picks and I don't know, like the Jaguars, they, they do so many things just wrong. And it's it's puzzling. I think Shaw Khan deserves a lot of the blame. I think, you know, I don't know. We got we got to figure out because of course Dave Caldwell's drafted some good guys, but it's all about getting them on their second contract. Who have we signed to second contracts? We've signed Blake Bortles. We've signed AJ Can. We've signed Miles Jack. Like who am I missing? You know, what I mean, who am I, who am I missing? What first round picks have we, besides Bortles, have we even re signed any first round picks? Uh, it's so, it's just so frustrating. Anyway, we have 105 people in here, man. Let me know some of your thoughts. Uh, we got 15 likes and 105 people in here, man. Definitely drop some likes if you guys can. Um, but I don't know, man. And, and what, and what, what do you, what do you, what would happen if like next year we tank for Trevor Lawrence and Trevor Lawrence returns to his, his senior year? Like what? If, what if that actually happens? That would be that would be such Jaguar luck if, uh, if 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 Lawrence all of a sudden resigns or like goes back to the to the, um, you know, if he goes back to school. I don't think it'll happen, but that would be that would literally just be the Jags' lots. And everyone says Justin Fields. Justin Fields isn't as much of a home run as a set guy as Trevor Lawrence. I, I'm sorry. It's just it's just you know, what it is, but, you know, I know a lot of people, I, I made my video about Yannick Ngakwe at about seven in the morning, and a lot of people were like, oh, you look, you know, sad or whatever, and I probably should have said, like, you know, the Jaguars really didn't get great value for him, I mean, end of the second round, so that's a, you know, a top, you know, we're, we locked in a top, what, 64 pick, um, we'll see how far the Vikings go in the playoffs, but, you know, we and you know we might have 15 guys make then rookies make the team this year then we're really not giving Minshew a fair chance I don't know man I just I just want I just I just want to be able to go into season like really excited that we're going to start winning some games of course week one will tell a lot if, if the Jaguars all of a sudden beat the Colts week one that would be some crazy stuff I mean that would be really a tone setter you know, then we might get some more optimism. But like I said, man, like uh, Jaguars, I mean, they're not, they're not going ten and six. Nine and seven probably makes it a playoffs with an extra AFC team making it in. But you know, if we're not if we're not making the, if we're not going to win the Super Bowl, what's the point? You know, and I don't want, and it's just going to be so hard watching these games because I watch every single Jaguar game. I live stream all the games, like. You know, I'm just going to sit there and have to bend over and take this beating that this team is going to give me because it, because it, it just makes me sick, man. Like, I'm going to have to sit here and watch this horrible football. Like, I hope I hope everybody has four or five fantasy leagues going because that's what we're going to have to rely on. Maybe get some, uh, get some betting involved, but uh, I don't know. Jack says, Dabo Sweeney and Lawrence could turn the Jags around. Yeah, get Dabo Sweeney in here as a coach. Trevor Lawrence, quarterback, maybe ETN as the running back. Uh, but that's another thing, man. Like, you know, we're basically giving Doug Marone and Dave Caldwell another year. You know, and then, and then it just drives me nuts, the lack of transparency. Like, Doug Marone comes out to the media acting like they really want to win. Like, and of course, of course, that's all they really can do. They're not going to come out and say that we're going to lose. But, you know, there is just such a disconnect with the front office uh, and the Jaguars. Even the PR department. I mean, that scrimmage live stream was a freaking joke and they want to act like oh we're trying to preserve our plays whatever man aj says you should start a fancy league for your subscribers bro yeah i should probably do something like that if, if i maybe i think next year i'm really gonna look into that maybe i'll do a, maybe i'll start off with like a picks thing i don't know well fi i'll figure something out manye says we have armstead at running back he's going to step up. i hope i hope yeet says i had fournette behind derrick henry on fantasy team and i had to cut no don't don't cut leonard fournette do not, like, cancel that. Don't cut Leonard Fournette. Leonard Fournette's going to be on a team somewhere, and he's going to have some kind of impact. Um, so don't, don't, if you guys drafted Fournette, obviously it's not great, but, you know, he's going to end up somewhere and have some kind of role because apparently he's been looking good. Charlie says, can you do more live streams during the season? Yeah, I, I absolutely will, man. 
I absolutely will. Especially with, you know, I might, I mean, now that Jaguar letting people in the games, maybe I'll make it a, at least one game. But, you know, I definitely plan on live streaming these things. Yeah, David says Fournette was my number two running back. Yeah, that's very unfortunate for those who drafted him, but he'll end up somewhere. But, damn, I got 137 people in here. There's a lot. There's a lot for live stream. Definitely drop likes, man. Let's see if we can get this to, to 100. Wolf says, I like watching your live streams. Yeah, I appreciate it. I like, I like doing them. I like doing the, them a lot more when I'm winning, when we're winning. But, you know, hopefully 2021 will be that year when we win. Uh, Marone was a joke this yeah it's 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 all and all like I always feel kind of bad for Marone like there's no way Marone sat down and said look we need to cut Leonard Fournette they're giving him all the number one reps I, I really think this was a money thing you know they were kind of trying to trade him I think it's a money thing I think they're you know they don't want to spend four million dollars on a running back that won't be here next year I think they all know that they're going to be tanking even though they don't want to say anything they all know and then closed doors that this team is not set to. I mean, if, the, if the Dave Caldwell and all of them actually think that this is a roster ready to win, fire them right now, man, because it's it, it is it is not like that at all. Um, shocked they haven't traded Josh Allen. Yeah, um, yeah, that's the thing, man. We gotta we've really got to learn how to sign our guys in house. Like, I, like we gotta you know when DJ Chark's contract comes up, gotta sign him. We've got to. You know, definitely lock up Josh Allen, and you know we gotta just start spending money on guys from this team. Andrew says I'm from Rochester, New York, and I'm a huge fan. It's hard to watch. Yeah, you're you're not kidding. Do you think health issues and the discipline problems were a big part of the reason why he got cut? I mean, a lot of people, a lot of coach, a lot of people say that he was a pain in the ass. I mean, I don't know. I'm not in closed doors, so you know. I mean, obviously he's been suspended for team pitchers, and he's had. You know, he's had different issues with the team, but I don't know. Uh, Jack says, will CJ Henderson be put on TY week one? I don't know. Usually they don't follow players around, but one thing that is positive is, you know, Colts haven't won in Jacksonville since 2014. So, Jag Soldier says, when do you think we'll actually be a contender? I mean, 2021, I think we can. As this rookie class gets into his second year, you know, maybe Gardner Minshew in there a little bit more. We have a lot of money to spend, but... Ugh, I don't know, man. Kristoff says, I'm from Germany. I'm a big fan. It hurts. Yeah, you're not kidding, man. It, it really it really hurts, and it really sucks. But all right, I'll be on here for two more minutes. I'm on my lunch break. About to get some, about to get some Chick-fil-A. When my girlfriend doesn't make me food, I just go to Chick-fil-A since there's not really much around my work. Um, Alina's dad, we cut Fournette. Jack fan from Raw. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, at least at least at least we got each other. I always say that, man. I'm like, at least we're in this together. We got each other. We can rant. We can get 133 people in this live stream to watch me rant. You know, it's a bummer, but we're in this together, guys. Don't. One thing I will say is, don't jump ship. You know, some people comment on my videos saying I'm done with the Jags. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go that far. You can be frustrated, but uh, don't don't jump off. Adam says we should have drafted J.K. Dobbins. Yeah. I mean, we'll we'll see what the rookie class becomes. Uh, Blake says now my jerseys are not on the team. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a I think I think that's a pandemic in itself. People having washed jerseys. You know what I mean? Like I said, man, get a Lambo jersey, get a Josh Allen jersey, get a jersey with your name on the back. Those are uh, th that's what you need to get. Larry Scott says Duval till we die. Um, Jeremy got Fournette instead of Mahomes. Yeah. Hey, that's why, that's why you wait. You got to wait until the weekend before. If you've already drafted your fantasy leagues, you drafted too soon. You know what I mean? You got to wait till a few days before. Jags fan for life says, I'll always be a Jaguar fan, but doesn't mean I won't be sad. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah. People, people are due to their die, man. They're not jumping ship. No matter, no matter who's back there. Yeah, maybe, uh, yeah, Hayden, Hayden says, or Denard. Yeah, maybe Denard Robinson was advocating to cut Leonard Fournette. <laughs> uh, maybe this is, maybe, maybe him being an offensive quality control coach or whatever, and uh, him being in the building and trying to cut Fournette, maybe this is his way of trying to get back in the NFL. Oh, man. Jason, I don't know what we're doing. Yeah, let's bring the boat back. Let's bring back Bortles, man. If we're if we're putting if we're going into full tank mode like this, but I don't know. But all right, guys, I'm a, I'm gonna end this right here. I'm gonna go get some food. I appreciate everyone for dropping by. All 130, 70 guys in here. 141. 
definitely drop a like on the on the live stream if you guys can and I'll uh we'll see who we cut tomorrow man I'll see you on my video tomorrow where we trade Gardner Minshew for a fourth round pick but I'm out peace